it's also uh, kind of kicking off our one of our as our key models for our overall electrification strategy. So it becomes kind of our point point vehicles. We start rolling into more electrified vehicles. The uh, as uh, alluded to before, you know, the Accord is truly bucking the trend right now. The, uh, we are uh, in an area where we have low gas prices and. Uh, high interest in light trucks, uh, we see that the segment's down about 8%, uh, but meanwhile, we're up uh, almost 9%. So uh, with uh, our updated 2016 model, we really have uh, uh, found, a, found a great, uh, a great, a great uh, set of buyers for the vehicle. Uh, specifically, since you can see, we've had refreshed the styling. We introduced our Honda Sensing trims, uh, we've, uh, and we're one of the first to introduce both uh, CarPlay and Android Auto uh, on our models. Um, we actually expect that success to continue as for 2017, uh, we've added a new uh, special, uh, sports special edition model uh, to the lineup as well. So uh, we, we anticipate the 17 model or to continue, uh, continue to be very successful for us. The, uh, the Accord Hybrid really is kind of the top of the Accord lineup. Uh, it's bringing in those same elements that we talked about yesterday with uh, refined uh, styling and, and premiumness. It's, it's our most fuel efficient vehicle and it's our most technologically advanced, of course. Uh, we've made the top of the line Accord even better by, again, having better uh, top, of the, top of the segment fuel economy, uh, top of the segment uh, power output, and uh, well, again, with those things that uh, uh, Carl talked about improved MBH, improved steering feel, brake feel, and even more features and technology uh, for this uh, uh, 17 model Accord hybrid. Uh, we see, uh, we see that the Accord Hybrid is really a unique buyer in the hybrid uh, uh, lineup. It's, uh, they're more educated and they're more affluent than our traditional Accord sedan buyer. So they do uh, occupy a very unique space in, our, in, in, the, in the Accord world. Uh, and then what we found when we dig into it a little bit deeper, that these buyers themselves have the most interest in, in technological innovations and uh, advanced kind of environmental uh, technologies. So they, they tend to be the ones who are interested in these, in these vehicles. Uh, Accord's hybrid uh, 2.0 liter engine is, uh, is, is certainly been improved as Carl mentioned. Uh, again, with uh, top, top of the segment uh, fuel economy among uh, mid-sized sedans. And uh, again, a total system output of 212 horsepower. Uh, it puts us at, at the top of that hybrid uh, segment as well. We, uh, we also uh, wanted to make sure that the value was uh, continued there for the Accord Hybrid uh, for 2017 model year. Uh, and we've, we kept the starting price below 30000 to 29605 which is only $300 up from the 15-year model vehicle. And with that, we've added a number of things standard. I think the biggest piece being the uh, Honda Sensing suite of technologies is now 100% standard across all those hybrids. So we've been able to move the value uh, needle way up on the support hybrid. Uh, again, making uh, our new dis our display audio system standard on EX and above EXL above models, and along with that, the, uh, the CarPlay and Android Auto come come along. So, adding a lot of a lot of new tech and new features uh, to the Accord Hybrid is really uh, part of the key key piece here. For the uh, 17 model Accord Hybrid, we're actually offering four uh, four exclusive Accord colors. Uh, so it gets uh, kind of a very unique palette for the core lineup. Uh, we're also rolling in our new uh, lunar silver, silver metallic, so we get a, a refreshed uh, exterior color palette. And on the exterior, I'm, I'm sorry, in the interior, we're offering three uh, three different color palettes as well as a new uh, wood-like finish uh, for the interior trim. So uh, again, keeping the interior up, uh, both uh, updated and uh, uh, premium. So the Accord uh, went on sale just a few weeks ago, uh, June uh, June 15th. Uh, we, uh, again, we, we are looking to increase our volume uh, with this new Accord uh, to be about 30,000, a little over 30,000 units for the model year. Uh, and we think that that increased uh, volume is gonna lead to some increased inventory for the dealerships so they can provide customers the opportunity to drive and experience the vehicle. Uh, as we had the previous vehicle out there, we. We didn't have, uh, we, we heard a lot from customers saying they never got a chance to test drive the vehicle. So we want to now have to offer this, this vehicle to our customers to actually get an opportunity to experience and drive and, uh, and 
and see the goodness that you're going to see here in a couple minutes. So.